Okay, welcome back to the video series about how to make a 3D balloon powered car. In this video, we'll talk about the exhaust pipe and how to make a, a, a hole coming out the back of the, uh, the car's body and then connecting with the hole that we made last time using a cylinder inside of a cylinder and then we grouped um, the hole with the, uh, the solid cylinder to make that. And then we have this ring that will hold the balloon in place, hopefully, that it won't fly off that. So, we could basically use these basic shapes over here, such as another cylinder. We could even use a box. We could really use any shape as a whole going through that body of the car to connect there. It really doesn't matter. Um, we could jerry-rig something and make it work. However, in Tinkercad, there are more things besides basic shapes. And some people out in the community have actually made some shapes and they've saved them uh, in the Tinkercad libraries. So if you if you click on the basic shapes uh, drop down and go down to community shape generators um, there is a cool shape and we'll just kind of look for it. Ah! The bent pipe is one of my favorite. It's pretty cool because as you pull out a, a pipe like this, let me pull it over here to where you can see it. Notice that it comes with properties that you can adjust. Okay, You can adjust the outer pipe width, the wall thickness, the arc diameter, the bend angle, and we'll have to do that. So we'll want to adjust some of these. So I'm going to reduce the bent angle. Okay, pretty cool, right? Lead in length. Wow. Lead out length. Really fun. This is fun stuff. Let's see. Pipe shape, we could have been making a square, hexagon, okay, we'll just leave, it. oops, if you click on your shape again, you'll bring the properties back up, whole shape, you could even change the whole shape as well, and then the pipe width, wall thickness, I forgot to mention, the 3D printer, you want to be careful, you don't want to print something so thin, uh, that the plastic won't be able to lay, lay down a solid layer uh, very well. So in, in, in my um, experience, one-eighth of an inch is really the smallest you can go. Um, and that's, that's pretty narrow. So the walls of these columns should probably be that. Nothing less than like not one-sixteenth of an inch. So a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, you don't want to go any smaller than that. And it looks like the pipe is going to be fine if I compare this width of the wall to this, okay? Okay, so basically we have a start of something. So I'm going to zoom out a bit so we can see this, and then I'm going to rotate this shape. So as I rotate on this Z axis, I'm going to hold the shift key down. There we go. And then I think I'll need to rotate on the other axis as well. Some. Okay, this is where I'm not going to hold the shift key down because we need to be a little bit more precise in the rotation. Okay, so I'll pull this over here and pull it up. Now this is where it's going to be a little tricky. I'm probably going to need to make my car um, a little bit thicker in order for this to work. Okay, because currently this hole is 0.7 inches. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So now it's half of an inch. That might work a little bit better. And I guess theoretically speaking, the smaller the hole, the, the more you would constrict the airflow out of the balloon. So that's probably a good thing. You probably want this exhaust pipe to be um, more narrow than the column up here. Okay. So again, I'm just kind of making this up. And we'll, the only way to experiment with this is through practice. Okay. All right. Now, another cool thing is that you can use your arrow keys. Instead of your mouse, notice that my mouse is staying, I'll put it right here in the middle of the screen, but yet I can move my piece around with my arrow keys. That's pretty helpful. Um, okay, so at this point what I am going to do is I'm going to click on the body of my car and I'm going to try to increase the height of it. So I'm going to find 
the white um, selection handle, which allows me to increase the height. And I'm literally going to increase the height. But notice how at this point, <coughs> it's also changing um, the wheel hubs where the axles will be. And I don't really want that. So I'm going to Control-Z that. This is where I'm going to ungroup. Use the ungroup button. And then I'll have my um, paraboloid shape back just for the body. And then I'm going to increase that just by itself. So now the body of the car is up to one and a half inches tall. And I think that's, that's better. That might work. One and a quarter inch. One more click. There we go. Okay. Okay. I need to align this with that. But this is comprised of several shapes. So first we need to shift click all of these. So I'm going to draw a little box that just highlights all of those three shapes right here. And I'll click group. All right, so that becomes one group. Now I can click on the balloon column and the exhaust pipe. Shift click, shift click, go to align. OK hand to where you can see all of the alignment knobs and click middle. Perfect. Okay, it looks like I need to pull it up just a little bit. So one click up. Great. Okay, let's see if we make this a hole and then shift click the body group those what does this look like ah, I was afraid of that interesting that's very interesting so if we were to 3d print this at this point this actually would probably work because what we could do is the 3d printer would um, print this shape, but it would print some support material underneath here holding it up. But we could then get some uh, pliers or tweezers and literally just pull this shape out. Um, and we would be able to do that. And let's see if it would work down here too. I'm not actually seeing a secure hole there. Yep, it would. So that shape, well, no it wouldn't. This shape would melt with that. So, with that said, we're going to have to do some little adjustments here. So I'm going to press Control Z, Control Z, and this is where we have to go back to that shape and check out its properties a little bit more. Um, this bent pipe is a solid, pipe shape is a circle, the whole shape is a circle, the outer pipe width is that. So I'll control Z that. Whoops. Control Z. Whoops. Oh boy. Let me change that back. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, I think it's the inner pipe width that I want to change. There we go. So, if we were to increase the wall thickness, okay, basically, I, it looks like it becomes a solid. I don't know, let's try it now. If we made this shape a hole, and then shift-click the body, group those two together, What's it going to look like? There it goes. Now it is a complete hole right through the back. Okay? Pretty cool. I think that will work. So the airflow will flow down. Notice how that's not perfect there, but I don't think it has to be. Um, but I'm going to make it perfect. I'm going to press Control Z. 
I'll click on this pipe. I'll pull it forward. One click. Like that. And then we can group it again. Okay. Well, that was tricky. Notice that the airflow will actually have to go up over um, the wheel hub there, which is fine. Um, kind of interesting. Okay, so that's that video. Thanks for watching.